it's day nine out of 11. It's Monday the 30th of July and I'm at the Bluebell Inn in Ingleby Cross. It's 8.15 in the morning. Let's get going. Yeah, I feel, I feel better this morning. Had a really good rest all day yesterday afternoon and uh, in the evening and good sleep and a hot meal and um, good breakfast. So I've been looking after myself. Actually, that's the back of the place I'll stay in there. So it's a very nice place, the Blue Bell Inn. Very pleasant, friendly people as well. So great. Right, on for the last three days. The last 50 mile up onto the moors for two of those days. And today, thankfully, is only 12 miles, although it is a little bit up and down. This part of the walk joins up with the Cleveland Way across the North York Moors for about 13 miles. And that's the view west back where I've come from across the Vale of Mowbray. It's a very nice morning so far. Up on the tops now, this is my first view of the moors and uh, the view ahead, as you can see, is up and down. I think we're following the edge most of the way over two or three climbs and drops. Uh, the next mile or so, though, is gently downhill on this lovely track. So, uh, yeah, it looks like the view's pretty clear. So, it's a great viewpoint further on where you can see extensive views to the north, and I'm looking forward to that. down now, up down by this river into the woods for a mile or two and then uh, sink out up on the other side onto those bells above there, above the tree line and out onto that tip over there on the left uh, and that's the best viewpoint looking north. Good morning. Looks like Shadowfax. <laughs> I'm into the heather. And the view's opened up once again to the north, to Middlesbrough and Darlington. And miles and miles and miles of open countryside. And actually, way in the distance, I can see the sea. You can, but I can. <laughs> Three hours in, time to take a break. I'm just taking it nice and easy today. It's uh, ups and downs. I've done two. I think I've got at least three. still there thankfully, the weather hasn't rolled over yet and I'm nearly at the high point up there so uh, you can see that the ground falls away sharply so uh, the viewpoint should be pretty good. Up on top then this is Carlton Bank and the view as promised. down this bit and then up that other one there and I think there might be another down and up the other side which oh it's starting to wear me out unexpected surprise I didn't know this was here Lord Stones I think it's a stone circle right next to it but there's a tea room and a shop lovely nice cafe and toilets and everything so I didn't even know this was here so had to stop, get a cup of tea, 
enjoyed myself. <laughs> I'm on holiday. <laughs> on the fourth top of the day, this is Broughton Bank, I think it's called, or Broughton Day on the map. Uh, and I've got one climb left from this. It's just over the line. These are the Wayne Stones. Great rock formation, halfway up this hill in the middle of moorland. Very unusual. It's going to be an interesting scramble, get to the top, up and over, and uh, nearly at the end of the walk. Well, that's, that's the end of the walk. This is Clay Bank Top, and I've done 12 miles today in about uh, seven hours or so including about an hour of breaks it's more than i've taken on any other day but i didn't feel great today but i managed it so i just took it easy and that's okay and uh, the village that way is uh, called chop gate which is two miles down and there's another one even further that way um, so there's very little accommodation in the area and uh, i'm stopping at a pub down in Chopgate called the Buck Inn and they do a, a collection service like a pick up taxi pick up service and um, you just give them a call from on the top before you get here and about half an hour later they pick you up very nice very nice indeed especially when the weather's like this and you can just sit on the grass so uh, yeah if you carried on further along the path it's over eight miles to the nearest place to stay the pub the famous Lion Inn uh, so that would make it a really long day. So uh, this seems like a good option to me. Oh, there's one final thing. Coast to coast is three quarters done.